Yeah, so th this is not all the trailers. Um, I, I think I've cut about 30 out. And some of these games are console only. I know we're, we're mainly PC gamers, but some of these are just console only games. And some of these aren't even the trailers that they used in Gamescom. It was just the ones that, that I could get without a big IGN logo pasted all over it. Yeah. Um, but it's fine because it's just to get your kind of thoughts and impressions on the games anyway. So, uh, so let's get started. Peggy seven. Do it. Okie dokie. Yeah, hope everyone's got their drink ready. Yep. I want to learn the ways of the Force wow. and become a Jedi like oh, my yeah. father. Oh no way! Look at that. I'll buy that game just so I can do that little bit. Pod yeah. race them? Yeah. yeah. Let's just bring out Lego Pod Racer. Yeah, that'd be the best. Take my money. Jay, you could do that in your retro thing. Be all over pod, it. Pod Racer versus the Lego Pod Racer. Do be a side by side, yeah. Look how cool it looks. To be fair, this looks epic. Yeah. Oh, it really does. This is, this is four player. We gotta do it. <laughs> well, it's, it's like a trilogy, yeah. do, do you reckon? Or is it a whole lot? A whole saga? We need your help. It'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look at that. It's it's all of the movies. I want it. I want it yeah, right it's now. It's a whole saga, isn't it? Give it to me. The graphics are really good. Yeah, they are. The thing I love about those LEGO games is all the tiny details, like the LEGO writing on the end of the studs and everything. Just right, how, yeah. Oh, just everything is, is made it's out so of good, tiny LEGO bricks. You know? Yeah. This game looks immense. It really it looks does. Better, it looks better than any other Star Wars game I've ever played. To be fair, I could I could play this and, and, and it would be like re-watching all of the Star Wars movies. Yeah, look, entire Star Wars. Ah, Darth Maul. Okay, that's a weird looking Yoda, but there you go. Yoda with hair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the Greedo fight. So, who's doing the Let's Play on this? I, I think all yeah. of us. Yeah. We're all yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> so be it. Jedi. Unlimited power. <laughs> in front of him. Oh. Okay. That looks epic. It does. Is it PlayStation as well? Yeah. Uh, not PlayStation. All of them. Uh, what's it called? Oh, it doesn't say Xbox. PC. It's just yeah. consoles. Yeah. Might be able to get it on the Xbox Pass though. Maybe. It'll get a release at some point. Cold War. This is like going back to the original Black Ops. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a direct sequel of it, isn't it? That, is so, that was such a good. That was my favourite Call of Duty, I think. Even that Modern Warfare Two. No, I, I, I played Modern Warfare One and Two. Yeah. I think that was it, to be honest. Black Ops, Black Ops, the original one was so good. My fellow Americans, a nuclear conflict could well be mankind's last. We want to make this a more peaceful world. Five days ago, we acquired intel. Soviet agent Perseus is in play. If he's active, something big is going to happen. Something that could shift the balance of the Cold War. Let's go find this shithead. Sound effects are well good. The music's cool as well. Yeah, anytime you get an 80 soundtrack, it's always a good old. And that's so cool. Mr. President, is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. The graphics are banging, man. All these fucking textures and that. Is that Robert Redford? Is that, like, modelled on Robert Redford? Looks like it. That's going to be a good game. Like a good campaign, yeah. at least. Yeah. They've always made great campaigns. They have, haven't they? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's definitely Ronald Reagan. Yeah. 
That's cool. Pre-order digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access to the woods operator package. That dude sounds like he's dying for a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's dying to take a breath. <laughs> oh, it looks really good. They always oh. do do well, though. Cards, don't they? Yeah, yeah. they sell. No yeah, matter it really what, right? looks like we're going back to the roots of the gameplay, though. You know, six years ago, we were on the stage with you at the 2014 Game Awards, accepting the Game of the Year for Dragon Age Inquisition. And since then, we've been imagining new ways to use next generation technology to bring the world and characters of Dragon Age. I never did play Inquisition. We're still in early production. I think I did. Time to give I started to. I got to the character screen and then thought, oh, this is going to take too long. <laughs> Was this the first one, the first Dragon Age? No. no, no, this is oh. like the th third one in the series, I think. It's the more recent oh. one. Oh, I only played the first one. I pl well, we, we played the second one, I think, together, all of us. All oh, right. The first one was a bit different. There's amazing people in the industry. There's amazing stories to be told with other people. I love that character so much. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> we're very experimental here at Bioware. So we're always coming up with new stuff. Uh <laughs> like a cool place we're to work. We're trying to improve, innovate, and bring new characters to life for our players and fans to enjoy. The world of Dragon Age really has got it all. It's got frontier stories, it's got mystery, it's got hard-boiled detective stories. And of course, it's all wrapped up in kind of a fantasy setting. You really feel like you're the hero in the Dragon Age world and you're saving people. Dragon Age to me is a wonderful world to play in. I am really oh, excited about, about the future of Dragon Age. Isn't it? Mm. Really good. It's great world to build. Original world, mm. original flora, original wildlife, original architecture. That makes it fun to explore and discover. I'm getting Witcher vibes off of it. It's, it sort of reminded me of Skyrim as well, a little bit. New places and interact with people. Yeah, it definitely seems like one of those games where you just sort of want to immerse yourself into it, right? Just sit yeah. in a dark room and. Yeah. What happens when Spend a bit of time there. What happens when the people in charge aren't willing to address the issues? The things that you can expect in the next installment are going to be stories that focus on the people around you and the friends and family you make. Something that we'll be able to look forward to in Dragon Age is a really close relationship with game characters who really become real for you. We want characters to either be loved that or man is awesome. one of the best examples of that what a is <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that character yeah. creation screen. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? Bioware and That's EA cool. has been one of the forerunners in using motion magic technology, and that makes it way more realistic when you're looking at the characters. The what job these people have got? Look at this. Interact in the world. Yeah, that's how all the Destiny characters have done as well. Yeah, the animations are amazing. Is like, on, yeah. No, 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 it's okay. That's the good kind of rumble. I actually design bosses. I help with the creature design team as well. Wow. So I do all of like the big threats that you have to go up. Is that a spider with hands? Nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, have hands. Oh, my. Oh, I'm out, oh, I'm out, hell. I'm out. No, no oh, spiders with hands. <laughs> the decisions you make can affect change in the world. Decision making can mean that a party member lives or a party member dies. And it means owning your outcome and reactivity to the choices that I you hate make. games that do that to you. When you, actually, when you when you when you do something and one of your dudes dies, I'm just like, oh my god. I have to pause it and have like a ten minute like ten minute reflection, you know. Like, grieve. You just don't yeah, like you have to do all the reading for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not very tight. Yeah, not very tight. Yeah, well, it's like one of those things when you get that decision. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's like you sit there for ten minutes. Yeah, like, exactly. Do, do I Google this? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Google yeah. it. See which is the better yeah. one. Matt, Matt's affected Maybe that to make a death. Wow, that was definitely a pretty looking game. That's why you have to play Mass Effect like 15 times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hurt me, that game with decisions. What's this? Oh, look at that pentagram. Yeah, I'm liking cool. this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Mark's already got one. He's sitting around one. He's got one right now. <laughs> candles on the floor. Candles Bit of flagellation going, going on. Oh, it's <laughs> Doom, is it? Is oh. it? It's got to be, really, if it's hell. Looks Storm. a bit like it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Doom. Look at that hand. What if for Mick Gordon to kick in? It, it, a new Doom so quickly. Uh, it could just be an update to Doom Eternal or, or something okay. like that. It, it's not right. really new games. Oh, okay, I see. That is a game I've got to play. Yeah, yeah, likewise. Yeah, it does look good. I played the first, completed the first one not long back, and it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we smashed multiplayer on that last one as well, didn't we? Yeah, and I played. I remember playing the campaign the first time around, but never completed it. And then I just had that urge, and I was so glad I did it. I think when it came out the first time, I, there was lots of other games to play. It like, sort of dragged me away from it, but... Yeah, I'm glad I went back to it. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah. yeah, this looks good. I want to have a look and see what titles already use our like ray tracing capability. Well, uh, yeah, well, Crisis apparently Crisis, the remaster that's coming out this month, is including it. Oh wow, I'm excited for that game. Definitely. Do you watch? We'll, we'll all get like. 3080s put crisis on and it'll just cripple it like, like, like the old <laughs> yeah, days yeah you know, like, exactly yeah let it run back crisis to, back to 25 frames <laughs> yeah yeah like, oh god <laughs> not this again tell you one game I'm looking forward to going back to with ray tracing and that's Red Dead mm. that's one of the reasons Absolutely. why I stopped playing it it's because uh, the performance yeah. was so bad on my monitor fair enough oh what's this what is this now is, is this that squadron Oh, oh this yeah. looks really good. Yeah, this yeah, looks good. Jack Frag's talking about that. Yeah, I did a write-up on it the other day. Looks good. Apparently it's hard. Apparently it's a hard game. I saw some of the cockpit fighting in the X-Wings and it looked it looked like the movie. Yeah, wow. Yeah, apparently it's a difficult game. Not an easy Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be one that you've got to master. It's like the Dark Souls of Dark Souls of Star Wars. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll be a bit more like Elite Dangerous, you know, with the way it controls. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. But the galaxy is changing. Well, apart from the constant, constant, you know, roundabouts. Yeah, I hate, yeah. I hate that about Elite. <laughs> Make a choice. Yeah, you've got different classes, and I think in each of the ships you can uh, decide whether where all your full powers are going to go to. You can put all full power to your weapons or to your shields. Yes, and if you're doing it to your shields, you can like say whether they're front shields or rear shields. You know, so like, cool. you're trying to fly away from something, you put more on your back. Opposite. Wow. You know, lots, lots of shit you can do with cockpit controls. Really cool. Look at that. Wow. You'll have the option to experience oh, VR. You can do it in VR as well. Yeah, give me a time oh, fighter in VR. I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> this is the one I'm most looking forward to now. <laughs> what about the Lego, man? <laughs> on, okay, it's so on par with Lego. Because <laughs> this looks awesome. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Behind oh my god! Oh my god! It's making my whole body tense no, up. Yeah. Can you imagine that in VR? Oh my that's god. What, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the other thing about these new graphics cards. Is it's made me want to get back into the VR, you know? Play the racing games again with all nice settings and high frame rates. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, you, it, might, it might accompany a new VR headset with more than 90 frames. Yeah, I mean, even if I could just run the game at 90 frames, I'd be happy because, like, um... <laughs> Project Cars and the Rally game, that Dirt Rally, they're both glitchy. Okay. They're quite framey, even with the settings turned down. Alright. So just, just to have him running smooth will be 
Each mission will immerse you. So go on these cockpit screens, can you see like the three rows of lights? There's like blue, red, and green lights. Yeah, they're your like three different systems. That's exactly like Elite, dude. Is it? Yeah, like mid combat and Elite, like weapons, shields, and like that. What the fuck one is? You're constantly having to move those up and down in fireflies. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be engines. Yeah, fair one. It'd be yeah, engine shields and weapons. Sit well system as well, right? To do yeah, extra power to recover and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, we can just level it out. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for that. October 2nd. This is going to give you A, so much to think about, but B, so many like different ways to control your ship and maneuver it. And... To be fair, all yeah. that's either like the balancing, it, it doesn't take long before all that is just second nature. It's like changing gear yeah. in a car. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, but it does make it more tactical. It's, it, it definitely makes it tactical. Whoa. This was his Wolfenstein or something. Looks like it. There's an ugly Nazi there. Look like, right, it look like or, or Dobby is a Nazi. I don't know. Is, it, is there another? So, so this is called Paradise Lost. Okay. Um, I don't think it's any reference to the band. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, I have no idea what it's about. No God, idea. She's oh, shooting yeah. him with a flare. Yeah. A flare. It sounds like the song's in Russian. Possibly. Russian or Polish or something. How that? Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> John Wick be rolling in scene. <laughs> that is a cool freeze frame. That geezer yeah. just pointing. Why is he just pointing? There's a lot going on. He's scared. Look at him. He's like, oh no. I've got to get out of here, he goes. Yeah, good luck with that one, mate. <laughs> Paradise Lost. Oh, is, is this like a Fallout vibe or what? It, it looks like if that vault door shutting, doesn't it? It looks like that's going to be. Oh, the there's, there's something rough coming in there. Is this like something happened in, in World War Two or something that I don't know, like destroyed the Earth? Yeah. Post, it's post apocalyptic. Arctic winter. There we go. Yeah, nuclear winter. <laughs> Too many nukes getting detonated that ruins the whole atmosphere. I don't know anything about it, but it still looks good. I was, I was pretty much going to say that in different words. That looked <laughs> cool, but I don't know why. Because you didn't get to see anything but a load of people shooting each other. This is like a new battle royale survival game like scum welcome to post-war norway outlander humanity has fallen looks nice this land is yeah. our last hope it's, could, it's just like a day z clone maybe will you be scum able to yeah all those yeah, ones right scum. yeah Rugged graphics are great fighting cold harsh weather and deadly that's look good Someone can feel lost and desperate, but I will guide you. King Good is only one one part, right? It's got to play good. With some courage, you will rise once again. Oh, Build nice building. Loot oh. resources. Looting. Gather powerful weapons. PVP. First, he must what was that game you played, Jay? Was it over? The one where the, the, you're a park ranger and you're on, she's there's a chick on the radio. I watch. Yeah, oh, brilliant yeah. game. It looks like it might have a bit of that going on. You can never yeah, a little bit of narrative to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is, we've got PvP on this. Their needs are the same as yours. Find loot, gather resources, and get out alive. I love loot. Oh, get out alive? Is that a dark off? Yeah. It's dark off, yeah. Could be, it could have a bit of bit of something for everyone. Looks great. But you can gain an advantage. Cut shotgun. Discover what? hidden stashes. Reach barred houses. Loads of different weapons. Claiming the best loot by taking your chances with the airdrop. But be warned, these are hot spots for gunfights. Okay, I'm seeing console buttons. And if you die, you'll lose all the equipment you have on you. Yeah, very tower clock there, isn't it? Many yeah, mm. that's what they've done. And how you do so is it is a good format, though. Mm -hmm. Great. 
super addictive. Yeah, absolutely. Adds weight to your, to your it's game. It's not full on style, because we've got a HUD. You know, we've got a HUD, we've got crosshairs. Yeah, no, it's, it looks like a fun version of Tarkov. Yeah. <laughs> a bit more, a bit more approachable. Maybe this is a console version for it, right? Shoot. Look. Well, the actual worlds look much better. Loads yeah. more detail going on. You made it out alive? Good. If you could build a base as well, that's pretty cool. Like, the system world and stuff. Yeah. I'm still waiting for a sci fi part. I imagine it's going to be some kind of safe zone there, then I'd imagine. Because I'd imagine everyone has the same sort of base area. Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Game's giving it to you, you know? Yeah, that'd be really smart. Mm. Yeah, sci fi version of Tarkov would be amazing, Aaron. Yeah, that's what I've really been waiting for for a long time. Yeah. Cool. That was cool. Use boosters in the lobby to improve the quality and quantity of loot. For everybody. More loot! Yes, we <laughs> Shoot. Loot. Build. Become. Bigger. This is bigger. Oh, it's out now on Xbox. Xbox One. Are you for free? Is it is it a Xbox Pass game? Let's play coming up, people. Let's play coming up. <laughs> I mean, Microsoft, if you want to provide us with four Xboxes, we'll definitely give it a go. So. <laughs> <laughs> the magic the vow keepers said they would protect us from spellstorms still rage across the ruins of the hollow lands this is proof they said it isn't safe it can't be controlled it's like trying or something magic cannot oh no it's well cool i love that animation cool animation style yeah yeah, they've all got uh, infinity gauntlets. Oh, yeah, oh. Ah. <laughs> what stones have they got? <laughs> Is this going to be like some kind of Final Fantasy? Uh, I think I've seen this. I think it's called Spellbreak or Spellbreaker. Okay. Um, Dungeon Crawler? No, I think it's like a third person. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Looks like Dragon Ball Z, like. A bit, bit platformery. I think it might be like all multiplayer. I'm not sure. That Japanese, that Japanese style guitar music. Yeah, I love that. The music doesn't suit the game more, I don't think. <laughs> it's like it's like Weird. giving me Sega Saturn vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like Zelda or what? I can't, I can't figure out what type of game it is. Well, it looks, it like looks an like arena, it. arena yeah. thing. That was a crazy mad war. <laughs> this is the kind of game where I'd get absolutely demoralised. Yeah, you're right. Spell break. Yeah. That, that's the kind of game that makes me want to sell my PC after I've played it for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Play for free. Mm. Epic. Yeah, on everything. Peggy 16. Ah, oh, Blood Bowl. Wow. Surely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. <laughs> tell you what, if, if this is like American football rules that I know nothing about, I'll play it just to learn it. Yeah, yeah, I think all you gotta do is get your ball to the end zone. I, I think that's American football, football, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Except you're allowed to beat each other up. <laughs> Cyanide Studio.
far. Which. I guess people people who like the board game are going to be loving this, aren't they? Yeah, it's all, all fantasy, isn't it? What kind of game is it? Is it a strategy? Is it like Blood a Bowl, turn Oh, right, the actual game itself. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know whether it's turn based or, or what. Mm. It's got Nerva and everything going on. Quite a few factions in it, isn't it? What term um, is is it classic Warhammer that this is based on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like old school fantasy Warhammer. Right. You know, I saw lots of chaos and ugly stuff and Eldars and there's all sorts going on there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a great trailer, but you know, you're not really telling us what the game's all yeah, about. There's no so. gameplay at all, was there? No. <laughs> Yeah, they're probably going for the audience that play Blood Bowl 1 and 2. Maybe. Is, it, is that a thing? I don't even know. Yeah, fair. What's this? Well, if it's number 3, I guess. It's another Cyanide Studio. I mean, I saw werewolves. You know, werewolves, vampires, I'm all in. Just give it to me. Just take my money. Hey, this is weird. Yeah, while I was putting all these trailers together, I tried not to watch them, so I'm not 100% sure I've even got all the right trailers. <laughs> this looks quite like, sci-fi, though. I feel like this one just changed, like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I mean, we've got, we've got Game of Thrones here. This is like... The, the yeah. weirwood tree or whatever. You're gonna change, is he? Oh, it's werewolves. Yeah. Well, that's what that first clip was, and then it went into like mech mode. I was really confused. And a bleeding tree. And <laughs> a bleeding tree, and now we're in Fern Gully. I don't know what's going on. What is this game? Looks like time's frozen. Maybe you've got to like. Maybe you're like the forces of nature. You've got to try and take the planet back, kind of. Yeah, so. like Fer like Fern Gully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look at that Frozen dude. Evil vibes now. What? Is, oh, this game don't know what yeah. it is. It doesn't. It just. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, all bring your favourite games to the table, we'll mix them all together. Yeah. And that is a cool werewolf. Those breath must be bad. Not <laughs> falling away around him like that. No idea what that is. Nobody knows. Werewolf the apocalypse. What, what an inventive name. I don't think they know. Well, we couldn't think of anything different to call the game other than <laughs> Werewolf. <laughs> so werewolf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's make exactly. a game about werewolves and bleeding trees. What should we call it? <laughs> werewolf. Brilliant idea. Oh, <laughs> right, here we go. This is Yarn Harvest. Oh, oh, I can't wait for this one. It's out, I think, dude. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's a different game I'm thinking of. No, it is. I'm, I'm sure this I is think out. So, soon. Yeah, no, I, I think it is out. Is it? Has it come out now? Oh, I must have been the last couple of days or something. Yeah, for reason. Is this based in the real world? Uh, no. 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 I think it, it's like steampunky. Yeah. Like, I think all names of countries are a bit different. I think it's supposed to have a good campaign. Yeah, it's like a strategy truck game. It's a rubbish art in spa. 
Okay. Is that a medical bear? That's like a hunting bear or something. Makes me wish it wasn't a strategy game and that I just got to fight in the woods like this. Oh no, I'm thinking of Crusader Kings. That's a bit weird like this. Like old style soldiers yeah. with mechs and stuff. It, it, it is an odd blend of sort of old and newish sort of world. Right. I think this country is like Polania, like, like Poland, but not. You know, right, okay. Kind of. The Eastern Bloc, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good good one. Yeah. It's that old school time for. So the good guys' mechs aren't well armored, but they're a lot quicker. And then the bad guys have got the big, slow, hulking monstrosities that are like absolute fear marks. Oh, this is a well good fight. I'd watch a film on this. You thought you saw the big ones. What kind of game is that? First person shooter, real time strategy, what? Yeah, I think it's RTS, yeah, strategy. Yeah. It's been out a couple of days now. I'm, I'm yeah. asleep yeah, on that one, aren't I? Bloody hell. Ooh, this looks good. Ooh, yes, oh, this is good. Ranges, isn't it? Yeah. Where's that bitch? Who is that? Oh, it's Miss Marvel. Another, is it? Another Marvel one, yeah. It's a. Uh, she's like, yeah, can do that with her hands and feet and stuff. It's like that, that character from Street Fighter. Is she, is she, is she the one? Is she? Is it? Uh, yeah. Who's the Mr. Elastic Man from the Fantastic famous Four? four or yeah. 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 yeah, very similar to him. Is it her? Is it her daughter or something like that? His daughter. I don't know. No idea. Wow, those robots look cool there. Oh, wow. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that dude. Oh, I can't remember what that dude's name is. Probably a big head. No, oh, mine, really. mine something. What's his name? Can't remember. It's like one of the original eternal beings or something. That was their creation of all things. Like one of the creators of the Infinity Stone. This looks rubbish. Yeah, I think this is just like a remaster or re-release. You can tell by the animations, can't you, that it's yeah. an older game. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, <laughs> walking up the stairs. <laughs> it's like a mobile game. Oh, what's that old World of Warcraft? Thank you. In peanuts. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, so I have seen this before. Um, yeah, I it have. does look, look does look interesting, but I have no idea what the game's about. Okay. It's beautiful, like just yeah, for visuals, yeah. some of these games yeah. are playing out. All the textures and the lines. And ghost people. Yeah, weird. It's just, it's just sort of like frozen time, but yeah. Oh, she got into her own upside down. There's some talent out there in, in the world of animation and stuff in there. Oh, I want to see her fuck those boys up. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I want to see her hit the shit out of them. Pants and run away. Oh, she was going to hit man them. 
Oh, who's going to find her brick? brick? Is it her? <laughs> or is it going to be someone else? Oh, it's her as an older person. Yeah, as an adult. That's her drugs. <laughs> yeah. My stash is still here after all this time. Yeah. Just goes around the corner. Yeah, brilliant. I'm going back for him. <laughs> That's gone to um, mark down. I want to see what it's all about. Oh, okay. That's weird. Explore the story world. Hmm. Oh, we can't watch this. Oh, dear. Close your eyes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's a Medal oh, of wanna, Honor. I want to play this one. This is a VR Medal of Honor. Oh, is wow. It? Yeah. I'm scared too. Oh, this looks good. This is airborne. Oh, it's respawn. Uh, okay. Oculus, Oculus from first. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> oh, I'm, pl I'm playing it just to play that piano. Get me in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to improvise here. Oh, it looks well good. It does look good. Oh, his head oh! just exploded. Oh, look at it. It's gonna be a Project Alex 2, like. Same standard of game. Yeah. Average. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so. That's gonna feel good, isn't it? Yeah, definitely gonna want to play that one. Oh my god, that's gonna scare you. Seeing that tank go over your head. Oh, please tell me you get to fly a plane. You're in one. Oh look, you're walking around a bomber. Oh, oh wow. mate, you're not just a gunner, but you get to walk around inside it and everything. Oh. Mate, you can do all these games in VR sitting down, you know, like and it, you, you wouldn't oh, yeah. lose a lot. You wouldn't lose a lot. No, no, it. no. Sitting down's fine. I have to think about it. Definitely should. That's just easy thumbs up. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. The shooting looks good. Oh, it's actually Medal of Honor and everything. Yeah, man, it looked well yeah, like Medal of Honor. Legit. Harry Potter. So I love them, man. The Medal of Honor games were great. Yeah, they're my favourite. Yeah. They used to be my favourite. Used to play them to death. Pre COD days, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Using the bolt actions in multiplayer. Does it? Did it have? Yeah, it did have a multiplayer. Did, it, it did have multiplayer. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm thinking. I think the multiplayer was out at the same time as the other COD ones, though. Yeah. But yeah. Stargate. Love a bit of Egyptian stuff. Love it. So, if I recall correctly, I think this is another RTS, like city builder, city builder type thing in Egypt. Okay. I'm, well, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Egypt is great. I could be wrong, but it looks like that sort of game. I mean, to be fair, it looks like them educational videos that you used to see at school, yeah, like yeah. teach you the Bible. You know. <laughs> Yeah, when you're learning about the River Nile. Yeah. <laughs> it does look good though. Yeah. Yeah, but is this gameplay or is this just like the art style of the other? Who knows? Yeah, at the moment it's... Is it top down or...? It's just a cartoon at the moment. Which I'm fine with. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus flower. Marvellous. Yeah. Love it. Reminds me of never ending story when it's I was thinking. Pharaoh. Like that. Fair one. I had the original Pharaoh. Yeah? Oh, is it yeah. a new release, is it? Yeah, look. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Fair one. Yeah, never never played that, to be fair. Never no, yeah. I, I think I've actually got it on my Steam. Fair. Oh, it's really this? old. And really on Switch. The Switch. Oh, this is that Oh, that's it. Yeah. Don't know what this is. Fighting game. Fighting. There's Wait, three different worlds. There's Dragon Ball Z, um, One Piece, and um, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, it's one of over 50 Naruto. characters from all, all of the universes. Oh, 
Ah, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Then there must be a lot of different universes. Yeah, so I think this is like a definitive edition. Um, Let's see. Oh, deluxe edition, that's the one. What's the jump force? Oh, look at that Saiyan armor in the middle. What are you? Let's see. All of the popular characters from the game's console released in 29, as well as the season one character pass. Uh, Shonen Jump magazine. So it's all characters from Shonen Jump magazine. Which is like a manga thing. I mean, is it is it co-operable? Mm. It's on Switch. It's only on Nintendo Switch. It's one of them games where a load of 10, 11 year olds are going to kick our asses. The Switch mode has an exclusive offline multiplayer mode. I know that. Offline. Free, a free Lovely. versus free offline multiplayer mode. Amazing. Uh, let's fight the bots. Well, unless you use the two controllers, I guess. No, you, you go off against each other. It's 3v3. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's like, but it's only 1v1 at a time, and you sort of tag the other people in. It's okay. weird. Weird. It's, this looks Never interesting. Oh my god, this this game, I thought, yeah, this looks kind of cool, and then it's like, you know what, I'm not playing this. <laughs> what, is it really creepy or what? Spiders. Yeah, no, it's just creepy as. I'm gonna get spanking. It's like little nightmare, Z. It is a bit nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Back on their heads. Yeah, this is some fever dream shit, this is. Yeah. Oh, it is Little Nightmares. Yeah, Little Nightmares too. Well, that looks horrible. I ain't got the stones for that. No. Yeah, that's what I mean. I thought, oh, it looks really cool. Nice little platformer. And then it's like, hmm, actually, that's a bit too freaky for me. Yeah. <laughs> My little heart can't take that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A weird looking thing. A black hole for a face. I'm getting like Borderlands themes from it. Or maybe not. <laughs> That's just weird weird just, rock, man. Just nut in the floor. It's a, pl is it a platformer, yeah. Oh, cool, you're a, you're a club man. Oh, this actually looks like my sort of game. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah. It's just Dark Souls in 2D. Just dead cells with a cool... cool visual. I hope this is out soon. Yeah, this one looks like it'd be great for the Steam Link, right? Yeah. I'm loving like the animation, it's all really weird. It's, it's weird, it looks like almost claymation models at times. Yeah, right, yeah. Grime. Please be out on Steam. Dark. Yeah, Steam yeah, wishlist. Wish wishlist. Wish wishlist. Wish I'll be, I'll be getting that. Oh, uh, coming 2021. You gotta wait. Looks good though. Oh, pixel, pixely. I like it. Less. Play in a truly interactive environment. Whoa. Wow! <laughs> Look at that. Just a building, a building game. Isn't it? It's all blocks and stuff. That's a GTA Lego game. Play it. Yeah. Oh! Whoa. Oh my god! Okay. 
efficient power. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what the aim of the game is, it's though. Like a destructive Minecraft. Like on a really like insular level, it's like tiny little blocks, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. I, I want to play PvP in there. Like, imagine PvP in that environment. That's what, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like a like a siege, but everything's destructive. Every yeah. Just burst through it. Yeah. Can you imagine that? And then you could just build whatever vehicles and stuff you wanted, and like, <laughs> duck good, people to come up with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Graphics this, look really good in a weird impressive. way. Yeah. Well, that was cool. This has impressed me the most. Okay, tear down, teardown.com. I'm on. I'm on it. I'm in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ace Combat. Ace Combat? Cool. That's a plain game, isn't it? Yeah. Got yeah. the original um, featuring new aircraft. What new aircraft? Do you say stealth fighter? Yeah, yeah. like a fucking spaceship. Yeah. Yeah, but the graphics not look that good. Yeah, that is a bit weird. So, so this is like a 25th anniversary thing, so I don't know if, again, it's a re-release or if it's a new version or... Like a reskin of the original game. Yeah, maybe they've just added all these new planes to... So I'm sure it's not back. Yeah. Because yeah, Ace Combat 7's been out a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. DLC. Yeah, that's just updating skins, isn't it? I mean, that's such a specific game, mate. Mm. This looks cool. No, <laughs> that's wow. Cool. Star butts. <laughs> yeah. Well, this looks great. Yeah, it does. Nothing can stop me. Okay. Is oh, Sherlock Holmes or what? <laughs> I don't know. Dr. Watson with an yeah. LMG. <laughs> God, look at that hand of God comes out of nowhere. Who's that big geezer? He's just waiting his turn. Like, I'll wait, I'll wait for you to kill that other man. <laughs> yeah, that's like the, those, those grey putty men in Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, the grey men. Yeah. <laughs> dancing and wait their turn. That's it. <laughs> Weird game. It's got Bioshock vibes. Yeah, it's just weird. I like how violent that old dude is. <laughs> Super violent old dude. It makes me think of SteamWorld Heist. Yeah, I me. Mean. That classic Hollywood, like vintage style meets steampunk sort of thing. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> weird. Yes. That is so weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird game. Bad. Really weird game. I hope that's a Steam game as well. Oh, this looks cool already. I like yeah. this. Is this a recreation of the Lord of the Rings or? This looks cool. Oh, okay. team management. Like a 3D darkest dungeon. Two savages, that was the guy. <laughs> two savages. <laughs> Trust two savages, yeah. Oh. I like games like this. Cool music and cinematics. 
very post-apocalyptic, isn't it? Very. Yeah. It looks like Mad Max, where you get to, like you say, manage a team. But I bet it's like hack and slashy. Bit, bit cell shaded, like Borderlands as well. Yeah. Really cool, really cool concept. With the black and Survival white. Survival journey, yeah. Survival journey. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Steam again. slash artist at Team Kill Media. I'm here to present to you for the first time an early preview of Quantum Error's gameplay. Quantum Error is a cosmic horror FPS where you take on the role of Jacob Thomas, a firefighter captain in the Garboa Fire District, sent to help save personnel from the burning Manon facility 30 miles off the coast of San Francisco. Hi. This gameplay preview takes place a few levels into the game when your partner has gone missing and you are trying to track him down. No, thank you. This game looks horrible. How Nightmare many and and guns? Well, so the, the character's boring. The dude is boring. So here you are with the lead singer of Maroon 5 and he's a fireman. Nobody cares. <laughs> yep, this looks horrible. <laughs> this looks like Doom, where, like where, you guys are, where you guys are pussy. <laughs> That's what that look, this looks it's like. A, it's a bit like Alien Isolation, isn't it, really? Yeah. Right. Yeah, this game can, can not be played by me. Right, Mark, you'll have to take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm good at yeah. that. I don't mind the scary ones, as long as there's no spiders. Seems aliens, I'm totally fine with. Aliens creeping up and eating me or stabbing my chest to the tail. I'm fine with that. Giant hairy spiders. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I'm glad someone is. <laughs> <laughs> you and me should play grounded together. That'd be funny. Yeah, well, definitely. I'd thing. love to. Yeah. <laughs> look at that thing. It's like looking at him. Yeah. Looking well creepy. It's it's my first F bomb. Oh, nice. Blew a chunk out of his leg. Oh, wow, well, okay. They're oh, demonstrating, probably, aren't they? It, it didn't do anything, though, did it? He kept running for him. Do need to implement this. Loving seeing the chunks fly from him, though. Right? Yeah, me too. I need to do that in Doom. Seems a bit basic, though. Like, watch when he shoots him. He doesn't really flinch. Like this. Yeah, I know what you mean, should, Jay. Yeah. It's not like he's absorbing any of the shock from the bullets. Yeah, to, yeah, there's to... no, yeah, there's no inertia, yeah. Yeah. That's a shotgun as well, from like a meter or two away. Yeah, you'd want it. That shotgun looks rubbish. <laughs> We're oh, ripping this gun apart. I was with that. With what's with the with, with the numbers on the side of the gun as well. Sorry, guys. Um, if That's you made this game. Yeah, but like, why is it like that? You know, is he is he augmented? It hasn't told us. He's an augmented like robot dude. Uh, it's just spazzers, isn't it? It's for spazzers. Oh, it's still kind of ridiculous to farm and walk around loaded up with guns. Yeah. And thermals. Okay. Okay. I guess that's... Yeah, yeah, that's fair yeah, enough for a yeah. Why is that guy hot as well? He's he's well dead. Like, that dude <laughs> is well dead. Why is he super hot? <laughs> he's got really hot bones. <laughs> yeah, this game, this game looks horrible. It's got IQ's gadget there, look. Yeah. No, don't want to play this. It's making me feel horrible. It's not even scary, because those fingers are like walking at you like walking dead face. Yeah. You can sit there and brew up a cup of tea before they get to you. It could be like the intro to like Half-Life, where it seems, I can cope with this, it's fine, it's not scary. And then it starts to get a little bit quicker and everything starts coming at you a bit more. The only game to shit me up has been Dead Space. Yeah, fair. And the second one, those, they're brilliant. Oh, I love those games. That's what we need, we need a Dead Space game. <laughs> playing, playing Fear scared me. Of all those weird flashes that, you know, Yeah, like, fear with the horrible girl from that yeah. TV show, The Ring, or whatever it was. Yeah. It would just pop out of nowhere, just yeah. when you didn't want it to. Outlast, Outlast traumatised me, man. Like, yeah, so that's one I've not played, that ride is pretty... 
I didn't out. play it a lot. I, did, I didn't play it much. It scared the hell out of me. Yeah. Shoot the circle. Yeah, this looks like the guns are just doing nothing. It also looks really slow with the mouse movement. He's well, got his like, enemies guns are attacking him where he's not there. <laughs> this might <laughs> be like point. PlayStation only. Good. Yeah, it, look, it looks like it's on sticks, doesn't it? Yeah. Movement's a bit slow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, radial wheel. This looks like a slow, boring doom. Yeah, yeah, right. It is. This is slow and boring. Imagine the people that made this game watch this and like just ripping it apart. Like, sorry guys. <laughs> Start again. Yeah. Don't make a rubbish game. We still in this game? I think so. Oh, looks good now, but just should have stuck. Should have started. Still got his fireman's axe. Yeah. What? Even though he's in some crazy crevice on another, I don't know, planet or something, moon. Move away from the games and make a movie. Yeah. You guys, yeah. You guys will be all right. <laughs> Cool. Trouble goes to heaven. Is it? No. <laughs> Blimps. It almost looks like an old game remastered. Oh, that looks a bit bad. God. So we're going to hang an elephant? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't do yeah, that. Actually, yeah. What? No, I'm not in. I'm not having that. What is that? A mermaid Ooh, skeleton? Mermaid skeleton. Whoa. Jesus. What's going on here? Wow. Uh, that ain't for that, me. That looks mad. I'll never Don't play it. I understand what was going on right <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it, but Jesus Christ. What has that got to do with Sherlock Holmes? They corrupted, divided, conquered, until finally, Warhammer the game. gates of the Warhammer. celestial realm were thrown open. I'm gonna say they look like storm cloaks. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Stormcast. Remaining yeah. Hope, the Stormcast Eternals. Vengeance made manifest. They get dragons. Unbound. Unbroken. We will take back what the dead have ravaged. What type of game is it? I don't like it. They're not going to show us. Nope. They love their real time strategy, don't they? Yeah. It kind of doesn't look it from that trailer, though. Not. It reveals anything, but it's on Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox as well. So. I, I want it to be a hack and bash. Yeah, MMORPG. Or well, it, I hope it's like Vermintide, like an Age of Sigmar. Yeah, Vermintide right. would be cool. Don't like snakes. Okay, what what is this? This definitely uh, looks different. Going ball of something. Like it's, it's got a bit of an aquatic theme. Octopus, weird jellyfish. This looks like it should be underwater. Mm -hmm. Like those glowy lights look like they've roots of plants or something. Yeah. Well, this looks really riveny, like mist. Mm. That 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 globe does. That gold globe looks very much from Riven. But this again, it's another console game. Hold B to skip, and that looks like a I don't know. Is that a Switch B? That's not a that's not an Xbox B, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks pretty cool. 
Weird. It's like a mix between Bio. Yeah, it's like a mix between Bioshock and Avatar. Another game that doesn't know what it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing some like, I don't know, like cheaper elements to the game. It's a small studio, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Graphics are. It's like some of the graphics look really good, and then other parts look rubbish. Some some of the animations look. Yeah. It's really it's interesting looking. Yeah. It's definitely got me intrigued. Oh, Steam, like. Interesting. Uh, I'll wish list it and I'll have a look. He has never had a whole lot of that voice. He was born without the right to have one. Always on the run. Always in fear, they will track him the down. giant. He knew they wouldn't rest till they enslaved oh, yes, all of his kind. And it's Shrek. Put them in shackles. <laughs> Imagine it's Shrek. Uh, death so come on, Shrek. Donkey. <laughs> it's a giant. A he's definitely big, isn't he? Armed with steel and sword. I reckon he's a giant. I mean, he talks like he's got like melons for bollocks, and he's just broken down that wall. So. Afraid of just a giant on their path, but this time they should be. Get stuck down a castle. Yeah, giants. Oh, proper teaser that one. Yeah, it was, wasn't yeah. it? Because you don't get to see him at all. Steam. Soon on Kickstarter. Well, I mean, that's going to be a while, then, isn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah.